hi everyone welcome to uh, lead code 30 days javascript now you can see it here now today's problem is regarding to be or not to be in lead code the problem number 2704 you can read the question here write a function that expects that helps developers to test their code it should be take it in a any value val and returns an object with the following two functions so your function should return two values so expect function should return two functions so it must be returning some a big object of two functions now returns an object with the following two functions okay one function is to be val okay one function is to be val and another function is not to be val not to be not to be well so i'm using an arrow function since e6 es6 uh, we know that now you can see it sir actually what is the input and what is the output here this to be will accept an another value and which will return okay this also accepting an another value let's take it val2 let's take it here val3 and here it should return true if the two values are equals to if they are not equals it should show some error okay it should throw an error if it is same not it to be means if it is not true then it should uh, say true and if it is uh, else case it should show equal so the logic is so simple in this it took value and this value it will say it will just check it is this value one whatever the val we are taking it is it not equals to val1 if it is not equals to sir you can directly write it throw new error i am throwing an error here which is not equals not equal in the else case for example in the else case if they are equal in this case sir you will return true return true you can check check it up the same way you can try it here val1 sorry here val2 because val and val2 are just checking it up the same way here you can try where you can check it up val with val3 if they are equal then it will say equal else it will say true so understand the concepts here we we will understand a concept called here to be not to be an arrow functions and here we will see it arrow functions are taking two values and inside that we just checked it if sir you can try it in different ways you can try it using this you can try it implemented using classes you can even implement it like ternary operator instead of the else and all or you can keep it in a basic function inside this nested function and in that you can just check it the if and else return directly you don't need to write it else also there are different ways where you can uh, do it let's check it up whether it's passing the tests or not and in that cases we will check it now here it failed here let's see it's expected to be is not a function so to be spelling is wrong here so to be not to be yeah see it matched everything it is having to be with first value the second value and third value all are matched so let's submit up so that's it for today's class and you can see the problem number 2704 and we'll meet you with the new problem next time. Thank you.